Hello my friends, today we are on Photoshop and in today's tutorial I am going to show you how to fix hot spots and highlight blowouts. You can do this in portraits and also in landscapes and it's really really easy with just a few simple steps. Now this kind of highlight happens for different reasons. One of them could be the makeup has minerals in it that reflect light, could be oily skin, sweat or you know just your studio lights are too hot. So let's see how we fix this. I'm going to start from the very beginning. This is our image. We'll do three images, three different examples. You will see how it works. But now to fix these highlights, we will be using an adjustment layer. And that is the very last one into your adjustment layers. And that is selective color. If we look at our image, we'll see the highlights are pretty much white. So we'll be targeting just the whites in here. From your color dialog over here, click on it and make sure the white is selected because white is the only thing we want to target in here. To, to turn the luminance value of the whites down, what we need to do is to add black. So we will go to the black slider. Now underneath the black slider, make sure you are not on relative, make sure you're on absolute. And because relative, it's a very conservative way of using this and will add just a little bit of color. For example, if I'm on relative and I move the blacks all the way to plus 100, you see not much change in there. We do have some change from that to that, but not that much change. Let me reset it. And this time let's go to absolute. If I move the absolute one to the right, we're pretty much getting pure black. So we're adding a lot more black and color in it that, you know, with the relative. So I want to be an absolute. And then we want to add enough black, just we don't want it to turn black or gray. It's just to take that highlight away from it. Let's go with 45. And that is looking good now. It has a little bit of gray tint to it. So we have to add some color. For that, we will be adding, we know skin has an, it's an orange tone. So to get orange tone, we need to mix yellow and red. So we are going to add a little bit of yellow on it. So just like that, from the yellow slider, we move it a little bit to the right to add some yellow. And now we need some red in order to get an orange tone. But we do not have red in here. But we do have cyan, and we know the opposite of cyan, it's red. You see, if you add cyan, you will add cyan. If I move it to the left, I add red. So I just need to add a little bit of red just to get that orange skin tone, just like that. So let's see now, this is our adjustment layer before and after big difference but we need to fix some things look at the eyeballs look at the nail polish that used to be white like there are things that are not white that should be white in there and also we are losing some details here on the skin of the hand so how do we fix that well first of all the whole adjustment layer i'm going to change the opacity from 100 to maybe around 80 just to let a little bit of that highlight uh, go through this adjustment and we still want to retain some highlights. So now this is before, this is the after. We do have a layer mask. So with my layer mask selected, make sure you have a brush with black paint because we will be painting on the mask to hide this effect. And we're going to completely hide this effect from the eyeball because we want to keep the eyeball white as it should be. We want to remove it from the teeth because those are white. The nail polish, if you remember, was white. So we make sure we remove it from there. Let me get my flow to 100%. Make sure I really remove it from here, just like that. And then for the hand over here where we lose detail, I'm just going to take my flow to maybe 25 and just kind of paint over it until we get some detail back. So just like that. So now we have a highlight, but we did not lose any detail. So let's see again. This is the before. This is the after. Before and after. Let's take a different example. Here is a different example. Just like before, we will make a selective color adjustment layer. Make sure we are on absolute and we'll increase the black blacks until we tone down those highlights. Something like that. The skin is quite yellow on this image, so I'm going to add some yellow maybe a little bit of red. So we'll have to take down the cyan to get the red. Just to match the skin tone. 
and then just like before we will take the opacity of this layer to about 75 percent so this is our before this is the after before and after now this time the shirt that was supposed to be white it's toned down so we don't want that so on our layer mask i'll take my black brush make sure you have the flow and opacity at 100 and we'll mask out the shirt to make sure it keeps it white again this is our before and after let's go to our next example and here we will make again very last one on the bottom selective color adjustment layer make sure we are on the absolute and we move the slider to the right until just about when it starts to look a little bit bad then we'll add some yellow and a little bit of red so cyan to the left maybe even a little bit of magenta just like that we matched it pretty good reduce the opacity a little bit around 80 and this is our before this is the after before and after make sure you mask the eyeballs and the background if you want to bring the background back and so on you get the idea this is how i would remove those blown out highlights into a portrait i hope this was helpful and you learned something new thank you so much for watching my name is skylar ewing and i'll see you in my next video